Here we have a shed from a mantis, and I wanted to give you guys some quick tips on how to help certain mist molts, as well as exactly what's going on. So you can see those eyes on the front there, the four legs. If you turn it sideways, you can see their front arms, raptoral. Um, the little threads hanging downwards, the farthest are actually from the airways in their respiratory system and then the little black lines along the body are the folded down antenna so they actually even molt out some of the inside of their body so there's that and sometimes they can lose their grip and fall down they're using gravity to help assist their drop out of their older skin. So what I do, usually if they've gotten enough of their molt out, this area will be empty. So you can actually either clip or pierce this depending on the size of your mantis that's having an issue. And you can pierce that and hang that upside down so the mantis can drop. So I'm going to show you a mantis that's currently having that happen because I found her dropped from her top of her enclosure just in time. So we'll take a look at that. And here we have a banded flower mantis, Theropropus elegans. And like I said, the, ba <clears throat> the back of her molt is pierced with a pin where her body was already clear from, and she's able to hang. She, had, she hadn't even gotten her arms out yet, and she's able to hang sideways and finish her molt successfully. So, we'll let her rest and harden up. But I'm glad I saw this little girl, because if I had not scooted her back up to an inverted position, she would not have been able to get the rest of the way out of her skin. So yeah, the most dangerous part of an arthropod's life is molting and mismolting something to really pay attention to in the hobby. But you can have success with fixing them if you if they're at the right stage and you're able to. There goes, she's trying to find a way to hold herself now. There, she's free of her molt. Careful, Missy. Whoop, okay. You good to go? Nice job. Perfect timing. There we go. Banded flower mantis, clear of her molt. Dangerous little spot to have been in. There goes the tweezers. And she'll harden up for a little bit and I'll get her back in her enclosure. Thanks for watching.